at some point when you're editing pages of buttons and talk tablet, you'll come to the point where you'll wish that you could change all of buttons at one time. For example, you might say, well, every button that speaks, I want. I want all of those to have a thicker border that's green, or I don't like the font. It happens to everybody, and you wish you could change them all instead of going to individually into each button and changing the font or the setting or whatever you want for each button. It's very time intensive, but we have a solution for you now. And if you uh, come into settings here, at the very bottom, we have global button settings and global page settings. So let's start with global button settings. Now let me go back a step. Let me explain. A button is a something, is a button that says something. I like, that's a button. Want. That's a button. A page button is one that when you touch on it, it opens up a new page of buttons. We call that a page button. So questions is a page button. I'm guessing my phrases is a page button. If I touch on it, yep, that's a page button. Okay. Well, what I'd like to do is have the buttons that speak, not the page buttons, just the regular talking buttons. I want them all to have a thick green border. I want the font to be a little smaller and maybe italic. And I want a background, a light green background. So how do I do that? I go into settings, global button settings, the second one from the bottom here. And here are the attributes to a regular button. There's colors and text and fonts and all these kinds of things. And you can selectively choose which you want to change. And this will happen to all of the buttons, all the regular buttons. So let's start with button background color. Over to the right here, it says white. I'm going to touch on that. That brings up my color palette. If I put my finger on there, hold it down and slide anywhere I want, I can pick any cool color I'd like. And I'll come down. I said I wanted to make it a light green. We'll make it light green. There, it's kind of a nice green. And if across the bottom, just so you know, there's a sliding bar, and that's for changing the, the darkness of that color. So if you wanted it to be kind of a sage or whatever but we'll leave it just like that and i press ok the next thing i'd like to do is well let's do that too let's make the text color so the label on all of those buttons right now it's black i'm going to touch that and let's make it let's make it a dark blue okay and the button border color well the Button background is a light green, and button border color, well, we'll make it green too. So I'll choose a green here, and then I'll slide this bar across to make it, it's going to make it a darker green. Okay. And last thing I'd like to do is the border width, the border around each button. I'll make it a little thicker. It's two, but I'm going to pull that all the way up to seven, let's say. And if, just notice here before I continue, um, you can turn the labels on or off. You can put the labels on top or labels on bottom, which is the default, but I could change those so it labels on top. That's what these are for. Um, label on multiple lines. If you have a label that's longer than can fit on one line, choose that and it'll scroll onto the second line. This has to do with the font size. We've done that. We could, we could change that. Let's make it a little, we'll make it smaller. We'll make it uh, 20. I can make it bold or italics. We'll make it italics. So there's the changes we're going to make to all the buttons at one time. We've changed the button background color, the text color of the label, but the border color of the button, the font size, the, we'll make it italics, and the border width is going to be seven. Press done in the upper right hand corner, and it's going to warn you saying, hey, I'm going to change all the buttons based on what you've told me to do, yes or no, and I'll say yes. When I come back to my page, look at that. So we have blue font. It's a little bit smaller. We have the dark blue border, the light, or, sorry, the dark green border, the light green background. And that looks really nice. So I know looking at my page now that the buttons that are green say something. Now what I can do, last step, is let's talk about the global 
page button settings. So if I want to change all these buttons at the same time, the ones that open up a new page or a page button, do the same thing. Go into settings, the very bottom, global page settings. We have our own attributes for a page button. And on these ones, really the big thing I'm going to do on these is I'm going to make the, the border, I'm going to make the border quite thick. I'm going to make it 12. And I'm going to make the font bold. And I'll put the label on top. So the label will be on top, border width. And if I press done, it's going to ask me, do you want to update all these pages? And I'm going to say yes. I come back and look what I've done. I can see the uh, thicker borders, although I've kept my colors that they originally set up with, but I made the borders thicker. And so I can tell by looking at this and it affects every page, as you can tell. I can go into my phrases. And everyone here with a light green background says Stop. something. Things that don't have a light green background are page buttons. And that's how I know. That's how easy it is to do a change to all of your buttons based on attribute selectively.